I wouldn't have been able to tell you this story five years ago. This is a new story, five years. Now, I didn't invent the idea. It came from a Canadian professor named Paul Bear at the University of Guelph. In 10 years, you should be able to read the species of any piece of living tissue you got in front of you. And you'll have in your back pocket something that costs what this cost. It'll have a little hole in it. And a feather blows by on the ground. Jesus, where'd that feather come from? And you pick the feather up and you stick a piece of the feather in the hole. And it says to you in two seconds, oh, that feather's from a witchy witchy bird. Well, that's called DNA barcoding. The analogy is that the little snippet of, bar of the DNA, we'll call it like a barcode. So it's like the can a barcode on a can of tuna in the supermarket. Think of that as a word a billion letters long made up of four letters, a billion of them. All you need is 650 to know who it came from. So you differ from a chimpanzee by this one little piece of 650 base pairs of DNA. So all I need to do to give you the capacity to know what any piece of living tissue in the world is, is a library of those little snippets and a gadget that will read that little snippet out of this piece of leaf or dead frog leg or whatever. The technology for doing this is already available. The gadget right now is a machine this big. It costs $400,000 and sits on a tabletop. So the challenge is con collapsing that down to something that costs this cost. Depends on who you ask, what's the price tag on a gadget? Uh, a flip answer, but from people who do this kind of stuff, is $20 million. How much would it cost to get the little snippet of DNA from everything in the world? My answer was $3 billion. That's a small price to pay to be able to read anything anywhere in the world.